Welkom bij Estafette in Hartje, Japan. Hier in een van deze hutjes achter mij woont en werkt pater Shigeto Oshida. Hij is een Dominicaan die na zijn studies in Canada terugkeerde naar Japan om er een gemeenschap te stichten gebaseerd op een leven in de natuur, meditatie en armoede. Aanvankelijk werd dit met argwaan bekeken en slechts langzaam groeide de appreciatie. Nu is hij een veelgevraagd spreker op internationale conferenties voor zowel boeddhisten als christenen. Wij bezoeken hem samen met zijn vriend Ichiro Okomura, met wie wij eerder een interview uitzonden. Mag ik u voorstellen aan pater Shigeto Oshida, net terug van een zware operatie. The community was born 50 years ago when I was in sanatorium. When I was 26 years old, I was drowned and become, became a stiff dead body mm -hmm. without consciousness. It, I was abandoned on the seashore. But my friend, uh, it's a Canadian Lassalle brother, couldn't give it up. Uh, he and his friend ran to the village and found some stick of iron stick mm -hmm. and put it in my mouth, closed like that, and opened my mouth and they began to artificial respiration. How much time they don't know. Only they couldn't give up. And I came back. My consciousness came back. So but you the, nearly drowned? Yes. Well, yeah. mm, <clears throat> almost drowned because the lung was full of water. When I breathed, the water boah, came out. So. And uh, my lung has started to be corrupted. But uh, and, uh, after a year, all the members of my family were called. Doctor stopped uh, medicine. And uh, they were waiting for my last moment. But I couldn't die, <laughs> leaving the Catholic Church of Bourgeoisie like that. <laughs> and suddenly all the sick went out. I was healed uh, really miraculously. And then when I was uh, uh, saved there and was transferred to the hospital, then to the National Sanatorium, there I suggested the real spiritual life would start uh, by possessing nothing. And the first community was born in sanatorium. Just, but I was not priest, so I decided to follow the way of uh, education of priest, uh, thinking that if I can see a mass once in my life, it's enough to become priest. So I entered the monastery, and the provincial said he was a spiritual man also. Second spiritual man I met. The first uh, spiritual man was Jesuit who said to me, your vocation is sure. Before I ask something. He said so. I followed him. I was. I became obedient. 
But the second man was this uh, Dominican. Mm, you don't know what happened. You would understand later. And uh, he said, someday, can you give up the career of doctor and artist? I couldn't answer. If I give up scholarship and if I give up an artist career, what's the method to express myself? But if I am asked so, I should follow. After a few months, I knocked his door and I said, yes, I'll give up. I, I follow since then to this uh, expression. This land, just we bought it very cheaply. Uh, tomatoes caught uh, one dollar, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we started a life without anything. But next morning, some village people came, Father, don't you want some material for construction? <laughs> and they transported materials, enough materials to continue that. Just like that, it continued. Mm -hmm. I see. Only twice when I had no money and nothing to eat. We were so happy. Nothing now, nothing. But it continued a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? People brought you something to eat? <laughs> no. When I was in the temple, the first uh, at the outset, at outset, already when I come back from some place, at the door there was vegetables. Who <clears throat> put it there? Even now I don't know. They taste through the back. Mm -hmm. No conversation. Mm -hmm. And sometime someone asked me, Are you Catholic priest? Yes. Why you don't make uh, kindergarten? <laughs> Why you don't build the church? Why you are here? But. Uh, at the beginning, some people are suspected, but uh, at the same time, they found that many maids come to me from all over the world. What? <laughs> <laughs> so someone began to appreciate mm -hmm. my presence. Yes. And then uh, coming here, I built my cottage. And uh, before I completed, I invited some special architect. Can it uh, stand? Can it stand a long time? Mm, yes, yes. But it's very difficult when you want to, to uh, destroy it. <laughs> it's all fixed very, <laughs> very much. Mm. So you built it well. And. Uh, in that way, we learned here really what is poverty. It is to, to be with the hand of God. So you mm. trust, you've got a lot of trust then. Yeah, that is belief. And uh, we, for us, just uh, every day, Mm. It's providence. God uh, knows it. Mm. That's the reason why one, one principle of this life, no project. No. Respond to the need mm. at each moment. Don't make any long project. Don't make any plans. Plans. To get it. Mm -hmm. Why not? 
In that case, we create our world of consciousness. The freedom, free atmosphere of the dialogue with God disappears. God will give you when you it's needed. And Jesus said so. Until the French Revolution time, there was this kind of taste even in the Western Church, I think. Since then, assur assurance was, has become very much important and uh, wind stopped to blow since then. What do you mean by that, the wind stopped to blow? Here, winds never stopped to blow. Souffle, breathing from beyond. It streams because it overflows. How are the grateful the echoes of the stream? Huh? It's a spirituality, fatherly spirituality. The spirituality of earth, which I talked in the room, it's motherly spirituality. It's complementary. The reality of spirituality, both stream and the earth. So the one radical principle of community, family of Takamori is uh, uh, having the encounters in Atandi. So, you see, it's a completely different world I began to taste from the world where one tastes the phenomenal reality from our point of view. So there are two worlds. Yes. And you can get to the other world through Zen, is that what you say? Yeah, saying? yeah. And, and not through Zen, but uh, Zen is one way. Mm -hmm. It's poverty, nothingness, this uh, freedom before the person and the following the voice of God. All this uh, uh, expressed in vows also. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's too much in institutionalized today. Religious life. Mm -hmm. It's uh, many things are added in Europe in the history where they pass through European generations. Many things added. Uh, what is motivated by the fear? Not not to f uh, fear, f f make failure, uh, not to s sin. Uh, the, 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 that one example is when I visited the first convent, Carmelite convent in Spain, the, the uh, what is say, this is a clo closure, mm -hmm. double closure. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, on the close, this uh, wall uh, with a hole, uh, beside that visitor, everywhere the st thorns are faced to the visitor. So I asked to the prioress, what is that? And she answered, it's because uh, it is for not making the sister kiss with the old boy or boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so, not to make failure, not to make sin. They make many rules and uh, structures. Contemplation and Buddhism today is uh, in, in Japan is uh, also a little too much institutionalized. I think so. Yes, and then enlightenment, uh, you have got enlightenment. It's not something like that. Hmm. What is it then? It is what I said. Uh, 
when we listen to the chanting of birds, we listen from the side of beyond, from the side of God. Me baby, me present, all together, without separation, confined to him. And we follow with this look, in this look, the voice of God, which I listen to, the deepest voice of God, which I listen also in the Holy Scripture. It's not thought, it's not concept, it's a real voice. And not uh, mixed up with uh, my own voice or a social voice. That's the reason why, moved by, always by the breath of God, it is necessary. When I was a child, I didn't like to... I, I had fear to look upon the stars because I start to think about how is beyond that. And I felt that I shall become crazy. So don't think about it, I said to myself. I was full of the sense of mystery of being surround. And uh, I cried at midnight often because of the fear of death and what is beyond being. My parents didn't understand, so they didn't know how to manage me. It's a continuation. <laughs> and so you said you had fear of death. Did mm. your experience of being drowned nearly change mm. this fear? No. Uh, but uh, different color and uh, not the same fear, mm. just because I begin to taste beyond. Contemplation mm. or meditation, mm. is it necessary to open you? It's not necessary, no. It is the fact, it's a reality to be opened there. It is called contemplation and meditation. It's not what is taught by consciousness. It's a completely different world. It's not something of which one should talk chatter. Only I should follow under the suggestion. Difficult to understand, but under the suggestion of the Guru, Master. This kind of man can never be formed in the theology, in the science, in the what is called uh, study. It's not study at all. It's just a real opening, it's a study, to learn it. For that, what is important, it is commitment with the beings, other beings. Commitment with responsibility. Without it, no learning. But it's not something to be taught 
by word idea. Under the suggestions of the Guru and uh, under our way of uh, walking just through our own experience, through our own doubt and questions, we begin to encounter by and by. In what way is poverty essential to the development of a spiritual life? Mm. It's not only for Christians, for Buddhists, for any man who is rich, who can manage by money, who can manage by techniques, do not know really how to commit himself to make happen huh? something, to talk concretely with a living thing. To be one is freed from any kind of position. One should be freed to have a real conversation, with living conversation, with the living beings around. Stone is a living being. Earth is a living being. Why should taste it at first? Water is a living being. Earth, for example, represents very much maternal spirituality. When it should be frozen, it's frozen. When it should be melted away, melted away. And when it should become dry, it becomes dry becomes wet, becomes wet, and embracing always the germ of life, making grow. It's living. Nowadays, civilization, they, re, they seek to kill the life of Earth. That's the reason why here, when it's this very cold season, the rice doesn't isn't matured so much uh, because already the earth itself has become cold because of the chemical fertilizer. It started from the so-called illusionary civilization, modern Western civilization. They think they understand what is needed to the earth what is needed to the uh, herb, to the rice. But no, it's not something to understand. Anything which is abstracted from the living being, when you use it, it gives harm to other beings. And it is called civilization. Can spiritual life hmm? Can spiritual life change this or make these persons conscient of what they are doing? Uh, if they do not become humble and simple, they not notice it. Spiritual life is simplicity, with beyond simplicity with beings. That's the reason why they fear the spiritual persons. They want to kill them. Because they are too simple, too poor. No. They know, they see what the others are doing. Very clearly. That's the raison d'etre of the church and tradition, other traditions. But as a church remains rich and uh, uh, civilized, no possibility of changing the directive of humanity. I'm crying by life since 50 years in the way of living. Just recently, they begin to listen to bishops seriously. 
one should become more serious. All humanity should become happy, serving each other, not dominating each other, not fighting each other, but giving each other. I got a question about the distinction between Christ and Buddha, or is it also just concepts? <laughs> beyond is beyond. God is God. You see the statue. It's a statue also, it is uh, in my room, I think. It's a statue which was made by a Catholic nurse who came from Germany to learn uh, the sitting here in Japan. And before leaving Japan, she made two statues. One is offered to her master, one is offered to me. It's a Buddha who is embracing a little Jesus on the cross. We shall go and see. Buddha embracing little Jesus on the cross on the earth. <laughs> I blessed it with the Buddhist monk. <laughs> yes, it's a symbol. You have never met, uh, went to the monumental uh, forest no, of not death. Yet. Oh, it is important thing, as important as the uh, spring. Mm -hmm. It is. Uh, a uh, historical uh, cross of Jesus, the victims in the history, especially victims who are not token, who are not described in the churches, and someone who, whose family was killed by Japanese army in Philippines was very much a detested Japanese and could not forgive Japanese, but uh, because she was Catholic, she became so heavy, remaining, not forgiving the others. And when she came here, when she met this uh, forest, she wept, wept, wept. Now she said, now I can forgive. She was released. It's a raison d'etre of the church family. Brothers, sisters who are consecrated, who are sacrificed by the invasion of Japanese army during the Second World War. We shall stand with disappearing in this sea of infinite tears. It's a, we shall see without stand without disappearing in this sea of infinite tears. It's all the victims which are not memorized officially in any religion. Why should be freed from arrogance? Hmm? It's uh, what is suggested in the vow of obedience. Uh, freed from all sorts of attachment, personal attachment. Ego, is it the same, to be freed from ego? Yeah. Uh, uh, without this freedom from his uh, arrogance, without uh, freedom mm, from his uh, uh, egoism, one cannot learn. One cannot commit himself with 
the world event of other living beings. Hmm. So, for the peace of humanity, a big country should be freed from their egos, arrogance. It's the only way. We should free it from our illusions of civilization. Uh, hmm. uh, you see, we should enter back to the level of spirituality, to the simplicity with God in our nothingness, in our freedom. It's also what is meant by vows. We should start from nothing. We should be ready at first to die on the road by hunger, following the hand of God. That's a very hard vow. But uh, one should learn at once, oh, God is really helps us concretely. It's uh, this experience, continuity of the experience, 35 years here, even though more than that, all my life I feel that the Abba God was with us. Hmm. So, church should come back to Galilee. Reason Jesus said, I shall see you at Galilee. See you again there. May I thank you, yeah. Father Oshida, yeah. for this interview, for mm -hmm. Dakamori san mm -hmm. and for being who you are, and mm -hmm. that we can learn from mm -hmm. you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.